Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an on-off switch UI in Adobe XD. So to start with, we're going to create a new document by clicking on the iPhone 6 here, and this will give us our new artboard. Now we're going to start by selecting the line segment tool, I'll left click anywhere on the artboard and hold shift to create a perfectly straight line. Now, if you click on the iPhone 6 text here, you'll notice that the width of our document is 375 pixels. So if we select this line and we'll just type 375, drag that over and you'll see it snaps nicely in place. And we're going to drag this right to the top. Now you can then press Command D on the Mac to duplicate that shape. And we'll drag that down about 80 pixels or so. And then again, Command D to duplicate, and we'll drag down 80 pixels. And you can see there it identifies with those pink guides that they are equally spaced apart. So that's great. We can now delete this top one as we don't need that. Now let's just zoom in a little bit. And if we select both of these lines, and we can just type in a color. So let's type in 999, 999. And I'll probably just drop the opacity just to make that a bit fainter. So those will be our dividers. I'm going to actually just, just add one more, I think. So let's select that bottom one, Command D on the Mac, drag down. You'll see it snaps in place. Perfect. Then if we select the text tool and let's type Chrome. So this text can be whatever you like. I'm just going to create three different pieces of text here and each of them will have an on off switch alongside. So I'm going to make this 16 pixels in size, align that to the left edge and then holding shift, I'm going to press the right arrow key one, two, three times. And just make sure that's centered vertically. And then as we've done before, I'm just going to press Command D on the Mac, drag that down, snap it in place. And again, Command D, drag that down. Perfect. So those guides are really helpful for lining different elements up. So I'm just going to give these some different names now. So names of web browsers. So we've got Firefox, and then we've got Microsoft's Edge. Now all of these are going to have switches here on the right hand side. So let's start drawing that switch. I'll zoom in a bit more so you can see. And we're going to start by selecting the rectangle tool, a left click and drag to create a four sided shape. Now we're going to round the corners first. So we want this rounded as much as possible. So you can click and drag on this little circle here that will round the corners quickly and easily. Or you can specify a radius. So if you just specify something like 50 and press enter, it will round all four sides as much as they can. So it will look something like this. Then with the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift to create a circle. And then we can just drag that circle in place. And you can adjust the sizing. Remember to hold shift if you are increasing or decreasing the size of the circle, just so it, it doesn't skew out of shape. We want it to stay circular. So then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the rounded rectangle that we created. And I'm actually going to adjust the fill. So we've got the sliders here. So I'm going to pick a green color to signify that this option is on. So something like that. And then going to remove the border by just unticking this box. And then I'm going to select the circle and I'm going to make the border the same as this color here. Now you can do that by pasting in the hex color here if you like. Or what you can do is select this shape and next to border you have the little eyedropper tool here. You can click on that and then click on the green and it will sample that color. So there we go, we have the on state for our button. If 
I just select the circle as well, the border width is set to one. You can make this thicker. This is really a personal preference. So I've just increased it to two there. And I can just drag this down. You see there that guide lines it up with my text in the center. And I can hold shift to drag this straight over to the right. And then holding shift and using the left arrow key, I can go one, two, three. So I know that the space on this left edge to the text is equal to the space on the right edge to the button. So there's a consistent spacing on the left and right sides, which is just a nice little detail. So what we can do now is we can select this button here and again, Command D on the Mac, just drag that down holding Shift and you'll see it snaps in place nicely. Command D again, drag that down. Now this middle switch, we're going to change this to the off position. So if we select the rounded rectangle, I'm just going to zoom in so you can see, and we're going to change this fill color. So let's just move all these sliders to the left. And I'm going to give them a value of 250. So you can enter the value in here or you can add a hex value here. Okay, that's a little bit too light. Let's try 200. Okay, let's just drop the opacity a bit. So we want that to be a really light gray. So I can note the hex number here, the six digit number that references that color and the opacity is at 40%. So if I then select this part of the shape as well, we want to copy that over to the border. So just select the border or better yet, select the eyedropper tool and just click on there. And it will sample that color from the rounded rectangle and apply it to the border. And of course, the last thing to do is just left click and hold shift to drag the slider to the other end. And you'll see it snap in place nicely there. And there we go. We've designed a on off switch UI in Adobe XD. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.